hard at the Metropolitan Museum. <laughs> it's not so rough. You know, the, the roughest thing you have is you tell somebody, please don't touch the painting. <laughs> so he did that for a while. But one day I get this call from the Metropolitan Museum. Your dad's in Lenox Hill Hospital. Come in. So I rush up there. I rush to see. How you doing, Pop? What's up? So I said, he was in the bed, and his friend was next to him, a co-worker from the, Met the Metropolitan Museum. I said, hey, Dan, what's happening? What, are you OK? No, I'm, I'm all right, boy. He called me boy because he had so many kids he couldn't remember my name. <laughs> I said, what happened? He said, well, you know, Hank over here made some homemade cider for, uh, and we drank it for lunch, and it was a little too strong. They had their stomachs pumped, you know? There was a woman standing next to the bed in a guard uniform from the Metropolitan Museum, and I didn't know who she was. I, you know, I said, I, I don't want to really come right out and ask you for your card, but you're not my mom. Who are you? She goes, oh, I'm Sayora. I said, what, Sayora? You mean, she goes, yeah, that's me. I said, get out of here. She said, no, really, I was friends. I was friends with Lee, and I, one day I said to him, you know, Lee, they always write songs about Jane and Michelle and Annie, and things like that, but but, but they never, they're never going to write a song with my name, Ciora. He went home, he wrote the song that night. The next day, he brought her the song and said, here's Ciora, here's your song. And so I wrote a lyric for it, and uh, we're going to give you our own stomping rendition, as close to the original as possible, of Ciora. Chorus up front, yes. See you. 